uh, the fiscal year 2025 tax tax request here you notice was published in the York News Times on August 24th of 2024. Open Meeting Act is posted in the back of the room. Uh, the reminder, all cell phones should be silenced during the meeting. Please be aware this meeting is being recorded when I turn my mic on. Uh, when speaking, the desktop microphone button must be uh, depressed. This ensures that your comments are recorded in their entire content. The recording becomes part of the public record along with written board minutes in accordance with state statute. Roll call. Bethune. Here. Anthony Bohati. Here. Jeff Bohati. Richard Bohati. Here. Dickinson. Here. Groats. Hottershell. Here. Keener. Here. Miller. Here. Noose. Here. Adi. Here. Perry. Here. Peterson. Here. Siebert. Staley. Here. Weiss. Yates. Here. We have a quorum. Uh, consideration of director's request for excused absence. I, I have two, uh, one for Paul Weiss, he said he was ill, and uh, Jeff Bohati, which he has traveled out, out of the district. Uh, if, we, if you want to handle these separate, say so. If not, you know, go accordingly. Roll call. Anthony. No. Richard. Pass. Dickinson. Yes. Groats. Ottershell. Yes. Keener. Yes. Miller. Yes. Noose. Adi. Yes. Perry. Yes. Peterson. Yes. Staley. Yes. Bethune. No. Yates. No. That carried nine, three, one. So, okay, next thing uh, is to review the fiscal year 2025 tax request, and, and I'll let Dave do that. In your package, you'll have a handout for those in the back of the room. There's some over here on the coffee table. It's labeled fiscal year 2025 cover page. Uh, this is the only part of the budget document that you have in your packet. You can see halfway down or uh, a third of the way down. For fiscal year 25, the evaluation is 18 billion 99,000 or $99,809,159. That's compared to 16 billion 524 million 831 dollars from last year. Uh, so our tax levy Per hundred is 0 0.019725. That's compared to 0 0.021097 for last year. Does anyone have any questions or comments? Board or directors? Anyone from the public? Okay, at this time, I will close the fiscal year 2025 tax request hearing. Oh, okay, I, uh, I, I will open the board meeting at this time uh, for the Upper Big Blue Natural Resource District. Uh, open Meeting Act, the public notice has been published in the York News Times on September 12th, 2024. Open Meeting Act is posted in the back of the room by the door. Uh, the reminder, all cell phones should be silenced during the meeting. Please be aware this meeting is being recorded when speaking. The desktop microphone button must be uh, depressed. This ensures that your comments are recorded in their entire context. The recording comes part of the public record along with written board minutes in accordance with state statute. Roll call. Anthony Bohati. Here, yes. yes. Jeff Bohati. 
Richard Bohan. Yes. Dickinson. Here. Groats. Ottershell. Here. Keener. Here. Miller. Here. Noose. Here. Ottie. Here. Perry. Here. Peterson. Here. Siebert. Here. Staley. Here. Weiss. Bethune. Here. Yates. Here. We have a quorum. Okay, consideration of director's request for excused absence. Uh, Paul Weiss is ill. Jeff Bohati is traveled out of the district. If you want to act on both of them together or separate, make that be known. Motion to approve both. Second. Okay, roll call. Richard. Yes. Dickinson. Yes. Groats. Yes. Pottershell. Yes. Keener. Yes. Miller. Yes. Noose. Yes. Adi. Yes. Perry. Yes. Peterson. Yes. Siebert. Yes. Staley. Yes. Bethune. No. Anthony. No. Yates. No. I carry 12 too. Uh, public comments. Anyone may comment on any matter that is not on this agenda. However, no board action will be taken until the following board meeting according to Nebraska Open Meeting Act. Unless the board declares an emergency, please hold comments on any listed item until it is considered. Does anyone have? That was 12-3. Oh, okay. Uh, does anyone have anything from the public? Paul, Anthony, and Lynn voted no. Oh, I'm sorry. Uh, it wasn't there a third no vote. Paul, oh, Anthony, and okay. yeah, oh yeah, yeah. Three, okay, two, is next. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Thank you. Okay. No comments from the public. Okay, we'll move on. Uh, adoption of agenda. So moved. Second. Roll call. Dickinson. Yes. Pottershell. Yes. Keener. Yes. Miller. Yes. Noose. Yes. Adi. Yes. Perry. Yes. Peterson. Yes. Sabert. Yes. Staley. Yes. Bethune. Yes. Anthony. Yes. Richard. Yes. Dickinson. You already voted. Uh, Yates. Yes. Motion carried. Approval of, of the August 15th, 2024 fiscal year. 2025 budget hearing. Move to approve. Second. Roll call. Ottershell. Yes. Keener. Yes. Miller. Yes. Noose. Yes. Adi. Yes. Perry. Yes. Peterson. Yes. Siebert. Yes. Staley. Yes. Bethune. Yes. Anthony. Yes. Richard. Yes. Dickinson. Yes. Yates. Yes. Motion carried. Approval of of minutes of the August 15th, 2024 Board of Directors meeting. Move to approve. Second. Just a moment, please. I'm sorry. Yeah. So, is there any corrections or anything to the minutes of the last board meeting? Roll call. Keener. Yes. Miller. Yes. Noose. Yes. Adi. Yes. Perry. Yes. Peterson. Yes. Siebert. Yes. Staley. Yes. Bethune. Yes. Anthony. Yes. Richard. Yes. Dickinson. Yes. Ottershell. Yes. Yates. Yes. Motion carried. Okay, now the do adoption of the fiscal year 2025 tax request uh, resolution, which is what we just had in the hearing. You have a resolution to load up or 
Yeah, it's staying in the church. Okay. Does someone? I move to approve okay. the resolution as presented. Second. Okay. Is there any questions or comments? Roll call. Miller. Yes. Noose. Yes. Adi. Yes. Perry. Yes. Peterson. Yes. Siebert. Yes. Staley. Yes. Bethune. Yes. Anthony. Yes. Richard. Yes. Dickinson. Yes. Pottershell. Yes. Keener. Yes. Yates. Yes. Motion carried. Okay, the Water and Regulation Committee report. Kendall. Water and Regulations Committee met Thursday, September 12th, 2024 at 5.30 p.m. at the NRD office. Those who participated are listed. Committee members, Bohani, Dickinson, Miller, Staley, myself, and Yates. Staff, other directors and guests are also listed. The publication of legal notice. Uh, I acknowledge that the legal notice of the committee meeting was published in the York News Times. Also that the Opens Meeting Act was posted in the entrance to the boardroom. Action items, certification of irrigated acres. The committee reviewed the irrigated acres certification for 26 parcels totaling 1,942.04 acres, yielding an increase in irrigated acres of 351.76. The total irrigated acres within the district is now 1,249,654.76 acres. Motion to certify the acre changes as presented to the committee. This motion carried five yes, zero no. I so move. Second. Any questions or comments on this? Roll call. News. Yes. Adi. Yes. Perry. Yes. Peterson. Yes. Siebert. Yes. Staley. Yes. Bethune. Yes. Anthony. Yes. Richard. Yes. Dickinson. Yes. Ottershell. Yes. Keener. Yes. Miller. Yes. Yates. Yes. Motion carried. Item B, five aquifer quality well abandonment cost share assistance program applications are recommended for final payment, totaling $4,272.38. A list is attached. Motion to make a cost share payment for five well abandonments as reviewed by the committee at a cost of $4,272.38. This motion carried five yes, zero no, and I so move. Second. Any questions on this? Comments? Roll call. Adi. Yes. Perry. Yes. Peterson. Yes. Siebert. Yes. Staley. Yes. Bethune. Yes. Anthony. Yes. Richard. Yes. Dickinson. Yes. Ottershell. Yes. Keener. Yes. Miller. Yes. Noose. Yes. Yates. Yes. Motion carried. Item C, eight chemigation cost share assistance applications have been reviewed by staff and are re recommended for payment at a cost of $7,708.55. A list is attached. Motion to make cost share payments for eight chemigation cost share assistance applications in the amount of $7,708.55. This motion carried five yes, zero no, and I so move. Second. Any questions on these comments? Paul. Why the difference in cost? I guess I don't know where. Because you got some that are 7,519. Is it based on acres or? It depends on the type of stuff they're buying, essentially, like what equipment. What yeah. Okay. Because, like, the like some of the electronic ones for injection, those can be pretty pricey and some of the, but even like the water driven pumps are $1,500. And so this kind of depends on what they're putting on essentially. Any other questions or comments? Roll call. Perry. Yes. Peterson. Yes. Siebert. Yes. Staley. Yes. Bethune. Yes. Anthony. Yes. Richard. Yes. Dickinson. Yes. 
Pottershell. Yes. Keener. Yes. Miller. Yes. Noose. Yes. Addy. Yes. Yates. Yes. Motion carried. Item D, one water meter repair cost share assistance application was reviewed by staff and recommended for final payment totaling $500. A list is attached. Motion to make cost share payment for one water meter repair cost share assistance application in the amount of $500. This motion carried five yes, zero no, and I so move. Second. Questions, comments? Roll call. Peterson. Yes. Siebert. Yes. Staley. Yes. Bethune. Yes. Anthony. Yes. Richard. Yes. Dickinson. Yes. Ottershell. Yes. Keener. Yes. Miller. Yes. Noose. Yes. Adi. Yes. Perry. Yes. Yates. Yes. Motion carried. Item E. Staff received a Manage service agreement from Environmental Science Associates for the continued application management, hosting and technical support of the water accounting platform currently being managed by them. The one-year services and fees are $11,682. This is the nitrogen use efficiency dashboard and water pooling accounting platform. Motion to accept and manage service agreement for Environmental Science Associates and to pay the one-year services and fees of $11,682. This motion carried five yes, zero no, and I so move. Second. Any questions, comments? Roll call. Sabert. Yes. Staley. Yes. Bethune. Yes. Anthony. Yes. Richard. Yes. Dickinson. Yes. Pottershell. Yes. Keener. Yes. Miller. Yes. Noose. Yes. Adi. Yes. Perry. Yes. Peterson. Yes. Yates. Yes. Motion carried. Item F. Sergeant Drilling has completed the work on the two new test new, two new nested monitoring wells and have submitted invoices for the re Retainage in the amounts of $4,213.40 for the Polk County well and $5,573 for the Fillmore County well for a total of $9,786.46 invoices attached. Motion to pay sergeant drilling for the retainage on the Polk County and Fillmore County monitoring wells in the amount of $9,786.40. This motion carried five yes, zero no, and I so move. Second. Any questions or comments? Roll call. Staley. Yes. Bethune. Yes. Anthony. Yes. Richard. Yes. Dickinson. Yes. Pottershell. Yes. Keener. Yes. Miller. Yes. Noose. Yes. Adi. Yes. Perry. Yes. Peterson. Yes. Siebert. Yes. Yates. Yes. Motion carried. University of Nebraska, an invoice was received in the amount of $2,973.16 for work completed between July 1st, 2024 and July 31st, 2024 on the ongoing VEDO study in the district. Invoice is attached. Motion to pay University of Nebraska for work completed between July 1, 2024 and July 31, 2024 in the amount of $2,976.16. This motion carried three yes, zero no, and two not voted. And I so move. Second. Any questions or comments on this? Roll call. Bethune. Yes. Anthony. Yes. Richard. Yes. Dickinson. Yes. Ottershell. Yes. Keener. Yes. Miller. No. Noose. Yes. Adi. Yes. Perry. Yes. Peterson. Yes. Sabert. Yes. Staley. Yes. Yates. Oh. 
Yes. <laughs> Carry 13-1. Item H, five dealerships provided bids for new water department pickups, one to replace the total 2019 Dodge and one for the integrated water programs coordinator. The bids range from a low of $46,580 to a high of $52,887. It was noted the low bid was for a double cab and on a crew cab as listed in the specs. The question was asked, would a double cab meet, double cab meet the needs of the district? The main reason for the second door is to keep the equipment needed for inspections and sampling secure and out of the weather. Two people could still ride in the back seat if needed. Motion to accept the bid from Duto Chevrolet for two 2025 1500 Silverado four wheel drive standard box double cab pickups in the amount of $46,580 each. This motion carried five yes, zero no, and I so move. Second. Is there any questions on this or comments? Yes. So how many bids did we actually get in? Just curiosity. Uh, just five. Just the five. Bids. Yeah, yeah. That was the only. That was the one. Well, they there were some that were actually bid ordered pickups. So, so yeah. And actually, uh, I did get an email yesterday that they had ordered more than just the two that we've been looking at. They had a third one that was ordered, and it is on the lot now. So we can get one of the pickups right away so good how many dealerships did you send i went i visited 16 dealerships is there any other questions or comments roll call anthony yes richard yes dickinson yeah. Huttershell. Yes. Keener. Yes. Miller. Yes. Noose. Yes. Adi. Yes. Perry. Yes. Peterson. Yes. Siebert. Yes. Stela. Yes. Bethune. Yes. Yates. Yes. Motion carried. Producer survey item I. Staff has been looking at nitrate levels by zone and see some zones are increasing while others are decreasing. This prompted a discussion with Patricio Gassini, professor at UNL about doing a producer survey to see which practices are having the most impact on nitrogen reduction and lowering nitrate levels in the groundwater. He would develop the survey, the district would mail out the survey with the existing mailing and his department would analyze the data to determine the relationship between practices and nitrate reduction. The only data that would be required from the upper big blue would be to update the practice data from 2018 to 2024, which is similar to the data requested in the past. Patricio felt he had the funds available in his department to do this project. Motion to proceed with a survey to identify practices which are improving water quality and provide data to UNL to update the 2018 data to 2024 data. Motion. This motion carried three yes, two no, and I so move. Second. Any questions or comments on this, Bill? So if uh, Patricio does not get the funding, can you come back to the board to get the funding before you proceed? If there's any funding needed, yes, we'd definitely come to the board and discuss it with the board before we do anything. Is there any other questions or comments? Bill. Okay. Uh, I amend the motion to read to proceed with the survey to identify practices which are improving water quality and provide data to UNL to update the 2018 data to 2024 data without giving information that can identify and improve. Second. Um, yeah. 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 I'll give you an amendment a little bit to. You put that up on the screen just, or somebody just the original motion just okay add, just add without, without giving out information that can identify yeah. is, is there any oh 
Oh, well, that was an amendment. Yeah, we don't have a second. Yeah, oh, yes, yeah. John did. That's right. Yeah, I'm sorry. Any discussion or questions on the amendment to the motion? Are you eliminating any track numbers then? Anything that can identify those. If there's a track number, that would definitely be identifiable. Yep. All right, so the original motion was a period, and then what was about reasonable? Without giving out information that can identify an individual producer. So are you going to show that on the screen then? Okay. Okay, that's what I was waiting for. <laughs> okay. Okay. Any other questions or comments on the men? How, how has it been delivered to them in the past? What information is tied to it besides just what their practices would be. It's section, township, range, county, and then their practice. And then we just gave like an identifying number so that they could group tracks together as an operation, but there was no names, addresses, or even subquarters. It was just the section number. So they could say, Farmer 227 has pract has practices in this legal description, this legal description, and this legal description. How would you like that to look, Phil? I, I, I think I could identify that. Yeah. 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 I could, I could, I could, so in the spirit of that motion, you should not be doing it. Okay. So uh, would a person leave out section numbers and, and just go as far as township, township maybe? Right. Or... I would say just townships, because that's a broad area. When you well, I'm sure you'll find someone. Yeah. Well, yeah. <laughs> well, I mean, they're not going to get. I mean, they'd have to go out, right, like an assessor or somewhere to get names and addresses. <laughs> but they're not out of <laughs> when you're looking at fourteen thousand tracks. I don't, I don't, okay, we'll do whatever you guys want us to do. I mean, that's fine, but I don't think the I don't think the university is going to go to that that's level. Fine. Okay. Now, when you speak of the track numbers now, it's not a track number. It's oh, not oh. a track number. It's just a number. It's just a number for like a person number. Oh, oh, it, just an ID number, say for well, I'm gonna pick on Roger. Roger's ID number, yeah. Yeah, yeah. so Roger's 100. Okay. So, you know, so Farmer 100 farms here, here, and here, and here's their practices. Yeah. It isn't a track number like you have to say office. No. Well, no. yeah, that's what I was getting at, but if it's a track number, somebody could look it up at the county assessor or... Our track numbers, yeah. our just track just numbers are unique. Okay. We, don't, okay. we don't use that okay. best that's behavior. What I was getting. Oh, okay, do you have a question? Go ahead. Oh, oh yeah. Is the concern simply that um, this if this research gets released, everybody could see each other's business? Just like I, I remember when Central Platte did their thing, and they had the tenants' names on all the yeah. applications, and you could people could call up and say, hey, "I want to rent your farm." And I remember they went back and took them up. Is that kind of will this data be shared to the public or just no. to who? No, this data is not shared with the public. It would get aggregated and put into a report similar to in 2018. You just need to do the best possible job that you can protecting the producers. I'm always concerned somehow it'll get released or somehow some, in, they're going to say that they're going to be a big report about the top 10 people and that isn't what why they're reporting to us or trying to help the study where they're not get embarrassed. John, do you, do you have a comment? So, right, if I walked in and any reports that we require 
Can I say, I want to see all the bills reported. If I walked in, can I ask to see an individual's reports? Yeah, you can make a data request for anything that we have hard copies of. The only thing is we couldn't give the addresses add on. But if I but gave you a name? If you say, man, and you said you wanted the reports for these legals, we could give them to you. And but, but not by name. Yes. Well, the name we could be there, but the, the their address couldn't be on it. But before we would do that, we'd probably call Bill and say, so-and-so has come in and placed a request for your information. That brings me to another critical point. Remember, we need to discuss if we do give out information. I believe that we should notify who's, for instance, if we're giving, if, some, if, if John comes in and asks for Kendall's information, we should be required to notify Kendall who got his information. That, that should become policy, but that's for that's for November. Yeah, November. yeah, that's for discussion for another time. Yeah, yeah. And before example, I came in here oh I don't know, a couple years ago, and I got a neighbor that never shuts his pivot off, and he just runs and runs. So I asked, I don't even know who it was. Oh, uh, well, I know I asked him, and but you tell me how how much that well's been pumping. They wouldn't give it to me. We don't like to. I mean, if, if I know that was fine. If I didn't push it if, or anything, if you can say we don't release that information yeah. and you walk away fine. But yeah, if, if you really, but if you really press us by yeah. law, we we have yeah. to. Yeah, yeah. But I'm just curious more than anything. So yeah, okay. Yeah. Well, I mean that's just an example, you know, and and I don't know, uh, even even who I asked for sure, but well, yeah, I do. I remember now. She's not working here anymore. So let's. Back okay. That's, that's yeah. Okay. Is there any other questions or comments on the amendment that's up on the screen? Oh, okay. We're going to vote on the uh, amendment. The roll call. Richard. Yes. Dickinson. Yes. Potter Shell. Yes. Keener. Yes. Miller. Yes. Noose. Yes. Adi. Yes. Perry. Yes. Peterson. Yes. Siebert. Yes. Staley. Yes. Bethune. Yes. Anthony. Yes. Yates. Yes. Amendment carried. Oh, okay. Now we'll vote. Or is there any other questions or comments on the amended motion as it is up on the screen? Unless someone wants it read, but. If not, roll call. On Dick amended motion. Go ahead. Dickinson. Yes. Pottershell. Yes. Keener. Yes. Miller. Yes. Noose. Yes. Adi. Yes. Perry. Yes. Peterson. Yes. Siebert. Yes. Staley. Yes. Bethune. Yes. Anthony. Yes. Richard. Yes. Yates. Yes. Motion carried as amended. Okay, item J is rules enforcement update. We went into closed session for a discussion, also came out of a closed session. Item two is lifting orders of cease and desist. The following producers have come into compliance with the district rules and regulations for phase two and three reports. Christopher Howder, Jordan Overturf, Adam Roth, Robert Lyle Stearns, for training, Amy Lennard et al. and Daniel Lennard and Levi T. Rausch. For withdrawal, Cody Engel. Staff requests the orders of cease and staff requests the orders of cease and desist to be lifted on these operators. Motion to lift orders of cease and desist for listed producers which have come into compliance with district's rules and regulations. This motion carries six yes, zero no, and I so move. Second. Questions or comments? Roll call. Hunter Shell. Yes. Keener. Yes. Miller. Yes. News. Yes. Adi. Yes. Perry. Yes. Peterson. Yes. Siebert. Yes. Staley. Yes. Bethune. Yes. Anthony. Yes. 
Richard. Yes. Dickinson. Yes. Yates. Yes. Motion carried. Discussion and no action items. Discussion continued regarding possible changes to address large water users. Staff provided and highlighted draft rule five, chapter 26 to reflect the discussion from last committee meeting. Legal counsel Don Blankenau was present to answer questions and provide guidance. It was asked if there, if the presence of water use could be included in the rule, preference of water use could be included in the rules and it can be in blank and I recommended using language, which is already in state statutes, monitoring wells, monitoring wells requirements were discussed. Blank and now recommended monitoring wells be included in the rules, which will allow the board to determine the number and location based on the model information and location of the large water user. Monitoring wells down, drawdown can be used as an early indicator to establish triggers for deadline for declines. Conditions can be set on the permit based on the percentage of drawdown in monitoring wells. Is there a need for levels of large water users was a question. It was determined that each large water user and allocation will determine the level of monitoring needed, so there's no need to have different levels in play. Return flows and how they should be accounted for was another question. Within the application, this should be addressed in a conservation plan, which outlines consumed water, wastewater, and recharge water. Blank and Al was instructed by the committee to create a clean revised draft of large water users rules incorporating the discussion from the meeting and that's mainly related to what the language would be in state statute and to reflect that and along with adding in the what I had read for that of the uh, conservation plan those are the main two things he's going to be writing us rules for so it's not a completely revised rule just those two main topics. And then there's also discussion on how long should hydrologic evaluations be good for. And it was kind of concluded by the discussion that it will just be used with the best available data. There's also a well permit summary you can take a look at and there's no additional information. And that concludes. Uh, thank you, Kendall. Okay, now we'll move on to projects and program committee report. Pitcher. Projects and Programs Committee met last Thursday, September 12th, the NRD office in York. Those present were committee members Bethune, Bohati, myself, Keener, Nuss, Perry, Weiss, uh, Board Chairman uh, Yates, other staff, directors, and guests as listed below. Action items. Mr. Chairman, uh, just point of clarification, Jack is off on personal leave today. So Drew is going to answer okay. any tough questions that we may have. <laughs> okay. <laughs> oh yeah. Yes, sir. <laughs> it's cooking. <laughs> Jack left a good day. Yeah. All right. Thanks, uh, Dave. Uh, first action on land treatment program. There are seven new NRD land treatment projects and three completed land treatment projects. The committee reviewed the land treatment program funding for fiscal year 2025. Motion that the upper big blue NRD approved the payment of one completed land treatment project with a cost share of $6,768.64 and two completed NRD land treatment projects with a cost share of $896.30. That motion carried six yes, one nay, and I so move. Second. Any questions or comments? Roll call. Keener. Yes. Miller. Yes. News. Yes. Adi. Yes. Perry. Yes. Peterson. Yes. Siebert. Yes. Staley. Yes. Bethune. Yes. Anthony. Yes. Richard. Yes. Dickinson. Yes. Yates or Hottershell. Yeah. Yates. Yes. Motion carried. Nebraska buffer strip, buffer strip program. Motion that the upper big blue NRD approve payment of four fiscal year 2025 first quarter Nebraska buffer strip program contracts with the cost share of $7,537.50. That motion carried eight yes and zero no and I so move. Sorry. Any questions on this or comments? 
Roll call. Miller. Yes. News. Adi. Yes. Perry. Yes. Peterson. Out. Siebert. Yes. Staley. Yes. Bethune. Yes. Anthony. Yes. Richard. Yes. Dickinson. Yes. Pottershell. Yes. Keener. Yes. Yates. Yes. Motion carried. Next item, storm damage tree program. Motion at the Upper Big Blue NRD approve a storm damage tree program cost share payment of $219.95, which is 50% to Victoria Northrop for two planted trees at 1301 North Delaware Street in New York. That motion carried eight yes, zero no, and I so move. Second. Questions? Comments? Roll call. Noose. Yes. Adi. Yes. Perry. Yes. Peterson out. Siebert. Yes. Staley. Yes. Bethune. Yes. Anthony. Yes. Richard. Yes. Dickinson. Yes. Pottershell. Yes. Keener. Yes. Miller. Yes. Yates. Yes. Motion carried. Item D, hazard mitigation plan update and payment request. JEO Consulting Group has distributed the draft hazard mitigation plan for comments. JEO submitted an invoice in the amount of $5,833 for work performed from July 13, 2024 to August 16, 2024. The Nebraska Emergency Management Agency share is 75% or $4,374.75. The Upper Big Blue NRD, Hamilton County, Seward County, and York County will split the remaining 25% or $1,458.25. The Upper Big Blue NRD will invoice the other agencies quarterly. Motion that the Upper Big Blue NRD approve payment of $5,833 to JEO Consulting Group for work completed on the Upper Big Blue NRD multi-jurisdictional hazard mitigation plan update from July 13th through August 16th of 2024. The motion carried eight yes, zero no, and I so move. Second. Questions on this? Who was the second? Uh, Campbell. Questions or comments? Roll call. Adi. Yes. Perry. Yes. Peterson. Yes. Siebert. Yes. Staley. Yes. Bethune. Yes. Anthony. Yes. Richard. Yes. Dickinson. Yes. Pottershell. Yes. Keener. Yes. Miller. Yes. Noose. Yes. Yates. Yes. Motion carried. Item E, shredder quote results. Staff presented four quotes for purchasing a shredder to be used with their rented skid steer. Staff discussed five quotes for various types of shredders. Staff recommended purchasing the SID Extreme Tree Reaper from Schweitzer Farms and Sales. Motion that the Upper Big Blue NRD approve the purchase of the SID Extreme Tree Reaper from Schweitzer Farms and Sales for $7,500. That motion carried eight yes, zero no, and I so move. Second. Any questions, comments? Roll call. Perry. Yes. Peterson. Yes. Sieber. Yes. Staley. Yes. Bethune. Yes. Anthony. Yes. Richard. Yes. Dickinson. Yes. Ottershell. Yes. Beener. Yes. Miller. Yes. News. Yes. Adi. Yes. Yates. Yes. Motion carried. Discussion and no action items. Publication of legal notice of meeting. The Open Meetings Acts. Private Downs Program. The Upper Big Blue NRD received two quotes for construction of the Mike Fiala Private Dam. Mike Fiala selected y WYAD Enterprises who submitted a quote of 49522, which will result in a cost share of $37,141.50. The Nitrogen Reduction Incentive Act. The Nebraska Department of Natural Resources 
provided guidance documents for the new nitrogen reduction incentive act program. The program sets nitrogen reduction targets at 40 pounds per acre or 15% less using baseline application rates from NRD records. The NRDNR recommends setting funding rates and limits by priority areas, including wellhead protection areas and phase two or higher zones as assigned by the NRDs. The Upper Big Blue NRD share of state funding for this program is $95,131.57. NRD staff is drafting program guidance. Discussion included limiting the amount of funding per landowner or setting limits on the number of acres each landowner could enroll. The target for first signups is January of 2025. Smith Creek Rec Gary Dawson Electric has completed reinstalling the outlets from the old picnic shelter in the new picnic shelter at Smith Creek Rec Area. Overland Trail Rec Area Dawson Electric has completed running power to the vault restroom. TLS Construction is currently completing the concrete for the ADA parking stalls and sidewalks. Staff will install split rail fence and hire a contractor to paint the ADA parking stalls. And if there's no additional information, I don't have any that, that would conclude my portion of the meeting. That's chairman. Thank you. Go ahead. Uh, Your thumb up too quick. Uh, <laughs> John. I know I asked this the other night and I'm still not clear. Backing up to this FEMA, uh, what, we're doing. what we're doing there. <laughs> it was my understanding that we split everything that was not funded by a grant in force, a fourth to each county and a fourth to the NRD. And you go to the bottom and we're at 9,800 and the two and the three counties are at 5,000 for the total. This month it was 800 and 200 rounding, using rounding numbers. Drew, why is that? I don't have an answer but uh I know John or somebody asked that and and, and I don't remember what the what was Jack's response uh, well, something about Jack's in kind work that he was billing. Okay. Yeah. yeah. So we at the beginning thought we would be able to use our in kind services, like for grant administration and some of that to offset. I don't remember exactly how it was. Um, if it, that was if it was all the parties or if it was just us, and then come to find out the grant won't allow us to to deduct in kind services. And Jack would be able to better explain it. Do you want, I, we could get a written, like a written answer and email it out when Jack gets back next week. I just thought the counties were getting, were supposed to be equal with the NRD. Why aren't they? It's my question. Yeah. yeah, and it was, and it was, it was something with like being able to claim hours that we spend on the project and, 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 I don't remember the exact how Jack worded it, but I could have him draft an answer and we can email it out. Roger, did you have a? No. I okay. Was, we were, we were oh, okay. Together. Okay. Okay. Yes, Kendall. What do, what do our hours spent on the project have to do with the old building? Well, they'd have to do with what we can claim reimbursement from the grant for the 75% that gets covered. Yeah, Kendall, I don't think it's for We would bill out our hours and then that would be our credit to it. So we wouldn't have to pay that. I think your original question was, what does our in-kind have to do with JEO's billing? It does not. Well, it's, we're all, we're all responsible for the total JEO billing. Yeah. 
this. So the JEO, the 75%, the FEMA portion would stay the same no matter what our in kind would be. Yeah. I, I'm not getting your question, I guess. This last page, though, Kendall, isn't part of the JEO bill. It is a summary of the entire project spent to date. And Bill and I were talking, it could be as easy as there's an error in that spread, spreadsheet that we didn't account for something one way or the other. We will get an answer, a written answer out to you uh, next week, middle of the week. I'm sorry, Ken, I'm not answering your question. Say, say it again so I understand. Oh, okay. It just might be that this stuff isn't necessarily reflected the way it is. Yeah. Like, my question was, like for only if our question is only related to the bill from JDO, does that is that relevant to our like the office? No. Yeah. I don't think it's relevant. You just about got off scot-free the other. He didn't answer it. Well <laughs> yeah, but he was still there to listen <laughs> for it. So so yeah, thank you very much for, for just yeah, all off screen. Yeah. Yeah. What? <laughs> you just get the <laughs> short end of the story. Okay. Thank you, Richard. You bet. Thanks, Lynn. Okay, we'll move on to the, to the executive committee report. Bill? The executive committee met at 8 10 p.m. on Thursday, September 12, 2024, at the NRD office in New York. Committee members present were Yates, Keener, Staley, Dickinson, Buthane, Siebert, Bohati, and Miller. Board Chair Yates acknowledged that we published the legal notice of the committee meeting on September 5th, 2024 in the York News Times. Yates advised those presence that the Open Meeting Act is posted by the entrance to the border. Action item A, payment to North Printing and Office Supply for the Blueprint news Newsletter. An invoice in the amount of $7,878.93 was submitted by North Printing and Office Supply for the 2024 Landowner Newsletter. Motion to approve payment of $7,878.93 to North Printing and Office Supply for the 2024 Land Open Newsletter. The motion carried 8 yes, 0 no, and I say second. second. Uh, I did it once. I'm, there were several over here. Give it, give it to Mike. Yeah, yeah. Okay. Hey. Right, go ahead. Is every producer male? Every landowner is, yes. Yeah. Got quite a few producers that don't get it. Yeah, that's correct. Yeah. And they, and they come in and ask, give them an address and they can get one. Uh, oh. Yeah, go ahead, Crystal. I, I was going to. We really didn't order a lot of extras on that. I have a handful of extras that you could take to distribute, but we just ordered what we needed for that mailing for this first one. And if we want to do it differently next time, we certainly can. Well, I get three of them. I get them daily paper. I get one mail to me and I pick up one year. No, we're talking about the landowner newsletter that doesn't go in newspapers. We just mailed it directly to the landowners, about 5,500 addresses. Well, how about the other one? Does everybody get one of those? The blueprint is distributed to, I don't know, 800 uh, mailing addresses directly, and then it goes out in the newspapers, and anybody that wants one can definitely ask us to mail them one. Okay. Crystal is the landowner edition on our website. Um, the, the All of the individual articles are on there, but I don't know that the PDF of the whole publication necessarily is on there. I'll, I can check on that. Because that would be an easy way if we were asked just to refer them to our website under publication of landowner newsletter. Yeah, I don't think I put it on there, but I certainly can. Okay. All of the individual articles are in the news section of the website, but the entire PDF is not on there currently. I'd like the PDF. I won't get one, obviously, from a landowner, so. Uh, but how often are, are you going to do a landowner one? Is that like a yearly or? Well, this was our tester. Yeah, we're planning to do it annually. I haven't heard anyone complaining about it, though. I don't think I've really heard a whole lot of like positive comments about it either. So I don't know. It's a uh, like I said, it was just a, a a tester. So 
interested in hearing anybody's feedback, if you've heard anything from the public about it, and if you think it's worthwhile to do it again next year, we got time to figure it out. Um, it was sent in August. I, I don't know what you mean. Like have it like be a double issue, like with blueprint. Um, the, the, yeah, the content that was included in this was specifically focused to landowners and blueprint is a more general audience. I'm fine with not doing it again next year, if that's what you're saying. I'm just, yeah. this was what we were trying this year as a direct outreach to landowners about some of our cost share programs. And I mean, we include some of that same kind of information in Blueprint, but it's a different audience and it's a different distribution. I mean, as Mike was talking about, it goes out in newspapers, whereas this was direct mailed to all of the landowners that we had in the database. Any, uh, okay, go ahead, Teresa. So do we have an email version of either or of those letters? So if they just want to sign up from you and you could eliminate any postage, like on the one on the landowner letter or the blueprint, either one, can they just be, when it comes out, it just shoots out an email and says, hey, it's here, open it up. Absolutely. We have a, an email that we always send out with blueprint. I don't have a list of email addresses for that landowner newsletter. Uh, but I do send out the blueprint via email to about 600 email addresses. And that's people who have opted in. I can't just like straight up email everybody because of, yeah, uh, email regulation and spam, that sort of thing. Um, but if anybody wanted it and signed up for it, you know, there's a, there's a way to sign up for it on our website or they can, people can just call the office and yeah, get an email instead. I can't like take it out of their newspaper, you know, if they get it via the newspaper too, but let's see. Any I, other, I don't, it's, I just don't remember getting it. I generally don't throw my mail away. It would have came in a, a, a double fold staple, not in an envelope. It would have been double fold if it's uh, stapled, correct? I don't think it was stapled. It had like little sticky okay. tabs on it. Yeah. 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 I mean, if it come from the upper big blue, I wouldn't have thrown it away. My wife wouldn't either. I generally just don't remember getting it. Uh, John? Well, the one that came to our household was addressed to my wife, who was a landowner, uh, not myself. So, you know. <laughs> we, we, did do, we did do address. We did do address consolidation. So if, if it was a husband, a wife, and a husband and wife, I just took the top one in the spreadsheet, whether that was supposed to be together or the wife or the, or the husband. Yes, Bill. It was just a few weeks ago. It was like middle to the end of August. I'm not sure. You have a copy of it around here somewhere because yeah. I know I didn't, I don't remember seeing it. I really like to see what it's. Definitely. Yeah, I'll get you some after the okay, meeting. Huh? I, we have some here. It was it was a nice newsletter because I got a call and said we're measuring the aquifer wrong. So <laughs> I'm glad somebody's paying attention to these things. Yeah. yeah. And any other questions or comments? Yes, Terry. I was just going to say that Jared has gotten some contacts about some possible cost share things. So I'm not sure if that's directly related to the news mailing, but I know he has gotten some calls and asked about. He has talked to some about it. Any other questions or comments on the motion to approve payment for the landowner newsletter? Roll call. Peterson. 
Yes. Siebert. Yes. Staley. Yes. Bethune. Yes. Anthony. Yes. Richard. Yes. Dickinson. Yes. Ottershell. Yes. Keener. Yes. Miller. Yes. Noose. Yes. Adi. Yes. Perry. Yes. Yates. Yes. Motion carried. Item B, 2024 Master and Long Range Implementation Plans. Committee members were provided digital copies of the plans and asked to review the draft documents and provide feedback. The staff recommendation is for the committee to approve these plans and to submit them to partner agencies. Motion to approve the 2024 Master Plan and Long Range Implementation Plan and instruct staff to submit the approved plans to partner agencies. The motion carried eight yes, zero no, and I still pull. Thank Questions, comments? Roll call. Siebert. Yes. Staley. Yes. Bethune. Yes. Anthony. Yes. Richard. Yes. Dickinson. Yes. Huttershell. Yes. Keener. Yes. Miller. Yes. Noose. Yes. Adi. Yes. Perry. Yes. Peterson. Yes. Yates. Yes. Motion carried. Item C. An invoice for $5,620 was received from Willingford Sign Company Incorporated for the creation and installation of the front entrance sign. The original sign was destroyed during a windstorm this past spring. Motion to approve payment to Wallingford Sign Company Incorporated of $5,620 for the creation and installation of the front entrance sign replacement. The motion carried eight yes, zero no, and I so move. Second. Any questions on this or comments? Has everybody noticed it? Yeah. Okay, roll call. Staley, yes. Bethune, yes. Anthony, yes. Richard, yes. Dickinson, yes. Hottershell, yes. Keener, yes. Miller, yes. Noose, yes. Adi, yes. Perry, yes. Peterson, yes. Siebert, yes. Yates, yes. Motion carried. Item D, management is requesting the authority to enter into a contract with Jackson Jackson and Associates Incorporated for the coordination and oversight of the building installation improvements. Items would include work with the Upper Big Blue NRD to finalize the scope of work. JJA will prepare a full set of contract documents, drawings, and specifications for the bidding. JJA will administer the bidding process, attend a pre-bid meeting, issue Abdomen and answer any questions. JJA will draft an owner contractor agreement using AIA documents. JJA will perform construction administration services, review product submittals, complete site visits during construction, and prepare a punch list of items to be completed. The contract amount is not to exceed 10% of the total insulator contract cost or no more than $40,000. Motion to approve management to enter into a contract with Jackson Jackson and Associates for the coordination and oversight of the building insulation improvement. The contract amount is not to exceed 10% of the total insulator contract costs or no more than $40,000. The motion carried eight yes, zero no, and I so move. Second. Any questions on this or comments? Mike. Yes. She she is the president of JJ Jackson and Jackson Incorporated, the architectural firm in Omaha. That is the one that I would recommend since she's already done the preliminary investigation to continue with her to the next step. But yes, that's the same firm. She might not be the one that's out on site every inspection, but it would be her firm that would be responsible for it. That individual be calling around checking out people. Yes. Yes. That happens to us in this building is built for that individual. He was supposed to be checking individuals. And 
<laughs> Any other question, Richard? That is some kind of bother me. I mean, I don't say bother me, but I thought about last week. Okay, it's not to exceed ten percent, up to forty thousand. What's the incentive to her to get us? Like, if she does a three hundred sixty thousand, she's going to cheat herself out of four thousand. What's the What's the incentive for her to cut the cost of the project? Other than goodwill on her part of what? Well, the, the bids will be approved by us. So the insulator bids will be approved by us. That that will designate her consulting fee. So if we feel that they're all in excess than what they would, we would just reject all of them, start all over. But I think that I did say that uh, in during the committee meeting that she thought that we would get a much better bid if we did it during the winter months than in the sp or early or late spring months because a lot of, did i say that yes. a lot of the contractors out doing work so did uh, we specify a minimum amount of bids that we would need to have no we did not but we can i can i would personally I think it's right here, right? yes that well that's our policy we need at least three yeah any other questions or comments? Yeah. Yes, Roger. I don't know if we'll be able to get a lot more than that because I don't know how many outfits really do this kind of stuff. It's it's a little bit more specialized. Yeah. Well, time will tell, I guess. We'll see or see what they come up with or what she comes up with. Any other questions? Comments? Roll call. Buffoon. Yes. Anthony. Yes. Richard. Yes. Dickinson. Yes. Potter Shell. Yes. Heiner. Yes. Miller. Yes. Noose. Yes. Adi. Yes. Perry. Yes. Peterson. Yes. Siebert. Yes. Staley. Yes. Yates. Yes. Motion carried. Item E, the NARD conference resolutions discussion. There have been two resolutions that have been submitted to the fall conference. We will talk about one and then the other one. The first one was submitted by the Upper Niobrara White NRD. And basically it is requesting legislation to allow NRDs to forego scheduling and holding monthly meetings where there is a lack of business to justify a meeting. I would like to have Paul and, and John some direction from the entire board or those that are here tonight on how you want to split your five votes for that resolution. Paul. Uh, legislative committee met Tuesday and discussed these. Um, there's a number of concerns with this. The main one is what it looks like to the legislature. If you do this, we're kind of already on their picking board. So if you say, well, we don't have enough business to have a meeting, what are they going to think? Then the other one was brought up about there's bills to pay every month, so they need to be approved no matter where they're at. And, and as Dave said last week, there's Zoom, there's phone, there's ways to have meetings. So You have six Zoom meetings? You can have six. That is correct. You can have six Zoom meetings a year. Can can they, since they're way out, you know, shattering, can they do it where you guys have a meeting and they just and they're the only ones zooming in? Can you do it or does that have to be all or none? Or how does that work? That is the the, the resolution is just for their board meeting, not for the association board meeting. Oh, board. Just yeah. for their board meeting like we are having tonight. Yeah. So what's the board feel? Off, my, off. my thoughts are some of these really small districts, if they don't have enough business, they're trying to save taxpayer dollars. Why have a meeting? Uh, I mean, if there's ways to, I'm sure they'll find out a way to approve those. So 
my personal vote. Question, Dave. So the smaller NRDs, I mean, it wasn't Terry, the one up there. How many board of directors do they are, do they actually? They don't all have seventeen. What's this? What's the smallest for? Terry, do you want to give some in fines? <laughs> okay. Uh, yeah. Uh, the lower Niagara, we did have seventeen member board also. Um, I believe they have a nine member board out of the upper Niagara White, if I remember correctly. Uh, I think there's one district that has a seven member board. Um, other than that, I think everybody else is uh, 15 or more. So my question is, is okay, 17 in a small budget, does that having the, the meeting, I mean, does it really affect the, the yearly budget that much or it's an issue? Not really. I, I couldn't say that it'd make a whole lot of difference whether we had uh, six meetings or 12 meetings. No, yeah, it cut the per diem in half, but really in the long term, it really doesn't make that much difference. We always had we always had plenty of business to take care of. Uh, <laughs> I I've seen oh. there. Yeah, I, I've seen their agendas. Yeah, sometimes they're pretty short, but I, like I said, they still have bills to pay, and there's always there's always seems like there's something that needs to be taken care of. But I I think up in that district, that's a large land mass for what areas for those seven directors that are coming in. I think that's what I had heard. A lot is, of travel. It, there's a lot of travel for them, so it was an inconvenience, but. That doesn't mean they couldn't have their monthly meeting as a Zoom call and just say, pay the bills. And they wouldn't have to actually travel, I guess. So. They can't have all 12 meetings Zoom. They can only have six annually. Well, yeah, if they can have six Zoom, you know, they don't have to have the travel or the pay the uh, travel expense or whatever for those six okay. if they really want to do it. Yeah, is the internet a problem on the panhandle there? Some of the rural areas, it very well could be. Zoom's not the only option. A phone call, a phone conference would would suffice too. So and I think they all have phones. <laughs> no, but the, we did that during COVID. Uh I think I think Roger was chairman then. And I know we did that over the phone. We used yeah. to do that. Yeah, so. So what is the, uh, well, I don't know if you want to do a, a straw poll here, but uh, 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 I know because Paul needs to, I know some direction, you know, uh, I don't know, but to me, it doesn't make any difference either way. Uh, that That's my opinion. Well, I, I think Paul's right, though, when he's talking about, you know, we're giving the legislature about enough ammunition to, and if we're telling them that we don't have enough uh, stuff to do that we don't need to have meetings, we're we're just giving them more information to track down on NRDs. I mean that to me that area that makes when you look at the map of the NRDs. I don't know the history going back to seventy what is it seventy three or two. Did they should have they created maybe one? two and the one in that part of the state? I mean, did they divide them too smallly? I mean, I don't know. Maybe there was another issue. Yeah, they were all set up but on water basins or, or, or basins, you know. Well, there, there was two combined. Yes. Uh, Papio, and, Missouri, and, and one right north of yeah. it was combined up in there. Yeah. So. We just wonder if that, that up the one in the northwest corner, I mean, I don't know if they, there's one in, in, the, cent, in the central or the panhandle of Scott's Bluff and in there. Is it there one where Sydney is? I mean, maybe maybe there needs to be something of consolidation two into one down the road if yeah. it's an issue of business. Yeah, well. That's yeah. another story. Yeah, that's not what the resolution, you know, uh, uh, is about, so. So I guess the, the question that we need to answer, is it a 5-0 vote, a 5-1 vote, or a 4-1 vote, or a 3-2 vote? It's a 6-3. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, good luck with that. So 
Yeah. Uh, who's in Who's in favor of that resolution? At what? Yeah. Okay. And how many was that? Three or four? Yeah. Okay. How many is not in favor of that resolution? Uh, yeah. That's what I would say. Yeah. Okay. Unless you learn something totally different out, out there, you know, uh, unless they amend it or do something different, you know. Okay, next one. The second one is uh, submitted by Lower Platte South and Upper Niagara White. Uh, it gives us the authority to pay expenditures electronically, something that we've been doing for quite a while uh, on certain expenses, not all of them, but some legal counsel has said that that's not kosher, that they needed to have this resolution drafted. So the, all the resolution does is give the, the authority to districts to pay electronic payments. So I think that's a pretty yeah. fine. Yeah. Okay. yeah, yeah. Yeah, unless somebody doesn't agree with that. Okay. All right, no action items. The personnel report, Dave. Uh, we're still waiting on a response from the uh, forestry uh, service mm. on uh, the comments that we had on the con uh, on the. Uh, excuse me. We're still waiting on the response from the Nebraska Forestry Service on the loan position, on the comments that our legal had for their legal. As soon as we can uh, get that res resolved, we'll uh, enter a contract with you. Uh, the investments, there's the attached month monthly financial statement. Item H, uh, NRD Hall of Fame induction. Larry Moore was announced at this year's Tusker Harvest Days on September 11th, 2024 as the 2024 NRD Hall of Fame inductee. Four. Formal induction will be held at the banquet on September 23rd, 2024, in conduction with the NRD annual conference. The upcoming events, uh, I guess the September 23rd and 24th is the annual conference. Our board meeting, NRD Falls board meeting is the 24th. Nebraska Water Conference, you can see the list. Um, on the uh, golf tournament, can you see anybody there? No. Any board members want, want to participate? Would it be just board members or staff? Or? We tried to put a staff team together and Terry was failed at that uh, assignment. So. Uh, oh. <laughs> so, so I, I guess if we would, would they take the personal day or would we pay them to go golf? It's Sunday. Oh, it perfect. Just, so there is- They should go golf. <laughs> I could. I tried to get our main player, but uh, she's got a bum leg, so uh, we, we couldn't get that going. All right, that concludes the meeting adjourned at eight fifty p.m. That concludes my report. Okay, thank you very much, Bill. Okay, now we'll move on to financial statement and approval of bills. You should have a copy in front of you. Uh, so, any questions or comments? We'll get them directed to the right person. Are we on track, I guess, with our budget for legal fees? Um, I would just mention, you know, if you're looking at like the annual budget and, and the meeting budget column, they have not updated that to the budget that we just adopted. So those are the FY24 figures. We should have the, cor the correct adopted budget next year. To answer your question, yeah. question, I think there's thirty thousand dollars in all the combined budgets for legal, uh, with the majority being in the the administration. So we're okay right now, at least.
I move we approve the financials and pay the bills. Second. Pay and pay the bills. I don't want words in your mouth, but I, I thought that's what you meant. <laughs> <laughs> oh, and we had a second in the over. Yeah, it, yeah, it, yeah, that's it. It does anybody have any questions with anything? Did I give you or you have enough time? Still looking? But it, Roger. On the 439.01. Right now, with the versus Roth, you just okay that to drop that. I'm going to, uh, one like the upper big blue NRD versus Roth and Engel. I think in the, then we just decide to drop that. In the uh, water, uh, we're gonna. They were going to rescind the cease and desist, but we've already had attorney fees toward that. Okay. Well, uh, I was just looking in the in the water. The many minutes that 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 was in there that we were dropping. Just just because the cease and desist has been dropped doesn't mean that we couldn't follow through okay. with the penalty. That, that's what that's what I was wondering because I just I know it's that one too. Yeah. 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 Anything else? Any other questions or comments? Do we have a motion to accept the financial statement? Kevin and Matt. Kevin and Matt. What? You you did that. Motion in the second order. Oh, yeah, yeah. No, no, I was repeating the motion. We have a motion but to uh, approve the financial statement and pay the bills. Any other questions? Roll call. Bethune. Yes. Anthony. Yes. Richard. Yes. Dickinson. Yes. Potter Shell. Yes. Keener. Yes. Miller. Yes. Noose. Yes. Adi. Yes. Perry. Yes. Peterson. Yes. Siebert. Yes. Staley. Yes. Yates. Yes. Motion carried. Josh, you're up. <laughs> Don't give me too hard uh, time. <laughs> well, good evening. Um, yes, I am back. I got back uh, September 1st, like came back um, trying to catch up on some things. Nicole did a great job while I was gone, but there's still things that uh, for that transition that have to be taken care of. So I um, wanted to give you a little update on what programs, um, applications we had, and then what we had for some approvals for number wise. Um, approximately 235 total applications for cost share um, for federal funds, that doesn't count the uh, NRD and SWCP funds, but uh, 235 there. So we processed all those applications. Out of those 235, uh, 212 were for EQIP. Doesn't mean that we had um, uh, individual applications because sometimes those double into different pools, but total of 212 that we had to rank in different pools and such. So um, five CSPs and 18 RCPPs that we ranked. Out of those, we ended up with 55 EQIPs, um, three CSPs and 17 RCPPs approved. So uh, what was the EQIP number? 55. And those are done. We, we requested additional funds. I think I talked about that the last time I was out. Those should all be wrapped up as of tomorrow. So we're done going into our end of the year. So uh, those things should be done. We were wrapping up some final payments before the end of the year and, and modifications and such. So um, we've been busy getting those things done because we'll uh, financially, not actually, financially we'll be at a standstill for a month or so. So we can continue to work on things. We just won't put it through our system at the time. Mm -hmm. um, any questions on our EQIP? That doesn't count um, CRP. We're just wrapping up a few of those. Uh, 
but I don't have a good tracking system on those like I do the other ones, so I can't tell you total numbers. I know we had some grassland CRPs mixed throughout the counties. Uh, I would say approximately, uh, I believe there was eight of those throughout the county that got approved, or throughout the five counties that got approved. So, um, any questions on the programs? Um, we had advertised and received applications for the sewer soil composition. Um, that would be the position that is directly below the our resource con. The resource con is the one that manages the workload in the county. The soil con is kind of that trainee that's learning those, how to manage the contracts and such, uh, writing conservation plans, and did interviews on those this week. We have some excellent candidates, so we'll be making decisions on those next week. Along with that, I anticipate within the next month that we'll get the Bora Soil Composition Act advertised as well, and then we'll be doing applications on that. Um, I'm not positive Nicole updated you on that while I was gone, but we had somebody hired there um, early summer, and that fell through, and so the process for us to get it re-advertised is taking a little bit of time, but um, we'll get that out there and get those filled. As as we have these openings and such, hopefully we're getting the work and not missing anybody. But if there's anything, anybody out there that has questions or concerns about getting the workload done, let me know. I'd be glad to visit with them and we'll make sure we get people transitioned around and make sure we're getting everything covered that, that our uh, customers need. That's all I got. Okay. Does anyone have any questions for Josh? I have one question, and maybe it's not the right one that Josh can answer. October 1st is the deadline for uh, the new budget. What's the potential of NRCS being shut down? Which news are you watching? <laughs> uh, I have not uh, listened to the news. Um, we will be out there next week, and uh, at the NARD conference, we're going to meet with leadership out there, and hopefully I can answer that question a little bit better and find out what Rob's been hearing. So you and I can follow up with that. Well, we'll the only see. concern I have is that our field staff in your offices would have to find work for. So as soon as you know something, yes. please let us know. And when Rob's had concerns in the past, um, we've normally known by now, so I take silence as a positive thing in these in these situations. But um, I'll definitely keep in touch with you when I find out more. I believe we're meeting Monday afternoon, so we'll be still there. Um, but that has happened at least once, I think. Yeah. It has, it has, and it it yeah. never fails. Um, it it seems to be if we have a continuing resolution. Mm -hmm. um, We'll be working on these things when we're at the NERD conference okay. in January as well. So it just seems like it follows the the conference when we're there. So, um, okay. which is okay. It gives us an opportunity to be together and discuss how we can handle things. So. Okay. 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 Thank you, Josh. Uh, the NERD report, Paul. Um. So, like I said, the legislative committee met Tuesday. Um, basically, we talked about the NRD wasn't involved in any of the legislation from the special session. And then starting next year, everything's back on the table again for property tax breaks and fixing that problem. So we're going to be in the mix again. Um, that's about all that I have, unless somebody has questions. Anybody have a question for Paul? Okay, thank you. Okay, uh, the chairman's report. Uh, and I got a question for, as you do the recording, do you show those same motions? Are they recorded, uh, like the motions up on the screens? No. Would you like me to add them? I can. 
Well, this is kind of a new system doing yeah. motions yeah. on the screen, I, so I, I have not I, been doing that. I mean, I'm just curious whether they were. I I'm not saying they have to because otherwise, you know, people have to hear them. And if they're going to listen to it later on, I mean, they have to hear them. And I didn't know if that'd be better if they actually could, could visualize them. I mean, that's, that's the way we've been doing it. For, oh, it's possible. It's just we haven't been putting the okay. motions on the screen since, I mean, okay, before last fine. month. I'm just curious. What, I can do that if you would like me to, Lynn. Yeah. yeah, you would like that? I don't know if it'd be a good thing or not. I, you know, I thought maybe it would, but uh, it's what the rest of directors want, you know. But I, I mean, it's just a thought. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, yeah, we can do that. Yeah. Okay. Um, uh, when October, we're still going to have our committee meetings at, at the five thirty, uh, and do all three of them. That so far, that seemed to be working pretty good. We haven't got out of there too late, so. Um, and I really don't have anything else. You know, Harvest is trying to get started. I know it seems like it's a slow start for most people. So it will be normally, you know, geez, a week ago, things were, well, at Hesker, or by Hesker Harvest Day, things were going wild, but, you know, people are struggling a little bit. I don't know. That's my opinion. I, that's what I see. So, well, Oh, where it was drier, yeah. Now, yeah, well, in my area, you know, there's some. You've been dry land beans cut, very, very, very few irrigated, uh, hardly any irrigated corn. A little bit of dry land corn. There's much there, but so. So, does anybody have anything else they would like to mention at this time? Yeah. Oh, where'd you cross it at? Oh, yeah. Okay. Yeah, yeah, so, yes. Just one quick comment. I walked out of Husker Harvest Days with Senator Hughes last week, and she had made the comment that she really enjoyed the director tour, Good. especially the organic farm, which I think was over at Aurora. And I assume she was referring to the Breslow Center. She kind of described something, and I've not been there, but there was something else that was, something else was on the tour, something with cabins and something. I don't remember. I didn't know what it was, but anyway, she liked the tour, so. Well, that was probably the prairie. Yeah, yeah. That wasn't the uh, organic distribution. That one too. She had yeah. two items. She said one was the organic thing, and then something. There was something to do with the cabin, and maybe it was the prairie thing. Yeah. 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 Uh, and it was nice to have have her go along, you know, too, because she, you know. Oh, they gave us an update on uh, on a special session and nothing happened, basically. That's first words out of their mouth. So uh, somebody else? Yeah, Kendall. So like we had this sent out to all of us, the proposed budget salary information, like as an email. I'm just curious, like the proposed budget number, what is that exactly? It's obviously not our yearly budget because we don't have a $6 million yearly budget. But it doesn't reflect what our securities plus our yearly budget is either. So I'm just curious what that general fund proposed budget is. Where it has the general fund proposed budget, that's the, just the general fund expenditures. Okay. Just the expenditures from that year? Yes. Is $6 million? Well, you're going to have some of that, but I can't remember what, what year did we start doing this, this working on the bill. Are we to some of those things that are, you know, factored in there or other larger projects that you've been worked on? It could be, uh, those were the actual numbers. I, I went back to each uh, actual working budget that we had, and that's where those figures yeah. came from. Mm -hmm. Went out the top of yeah. the budget and yeah. figured out what it was. Yeah. And same with, like, like, that's why I put the proposed. I mean, it may have, it may have come in with less. We may have spent less than that, but that's what we projected that we were going to spend. Yeah. Yeah.
It doesn't make any sense to me. So. <laughs> So if I look on your face, you know, we, uh, well, I don't know. We 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 agree on a three and a half million dollar budget budget, and it's reflected as a six million dollar budget. That doesn't make any sense. To but me, you so. get what you get. Money like you get. Yeah. Yeah. So, so you're you're not you're not levying the whole amount if you've got money on hand and you're using that. So is it reflecting what's in your securities too? You have six million dollars well, passed through you throughout the year. Only the general fund. It doesn't have the sinking fund. So it's just what's moving through the account throughout the year. Spend. If you were, if you were going to take money out of the sinking fund and transfer it into the general fund to the spend, then it would be in that figure. But otherwise, it isn't reflecting those figures. I thought if you if you put in if you add like like when you do the state budget form, they have you actually put the the money that's in the sinking fund. You add that into this number, and it's quite a bit higher. And I didn't think that. To me, I thought this would be more, I guess, more what Bill was looking for. This is what we're actually, I think what Ken actually This is all the money that passes through the NRD yeah. in this a year. Everything that we budget to spend in a fiscal year. This, I mean, it's the total. If you, if you go back, like, to our, I don't have our work one because it's for 25, but if you go back and if you look at that, it's what we're actually saying we're going to spend. It is that six million one hundred thirty-eight thousand. That's the number. That's the number. Kendall, are you saying it that? I understand it as the budget that we approve. That's what I'm basing it off of. Yeah, and that would make a way more sense to me to have on there as a comparing to salaries as opposed to just what all is going to pass. I mean, but that number, I, that, that number that you have there, that's only the tax that we're levying to, to support the budget. That isn't the total amount that we're going to spend. Oh, sure. for like grants and stuff like yeah, that that come through? Money that you've got coming in, like the okay. revenue and stuff that you've got coming in or cash that you've got on hand. Or money from the state for certain yes. programs? or yes. oh, Okay. So that's the amount of, that. that's our levied amount that we approve plus everything that comes through on top of that. Sure. Stuff through the state, stuff through loans, yes, other through grants, any other sources yeah. of revenue. Okay. Yeah. Gotcha. Uh, Mike, do you have a question? No. Comment. Or comment. <laughs> Back in the day, for NRDs, they had water boards. Yep. And usually there were three towers on there. So my neighbor was on there, so he invited me to go one time. And we went there, and we were probably there 10 minutes. We got the bills and everything. And that was all done before I went to the bar. Do you think we should go to the bar? Yeah. 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 Fillmore County had one. You know, there was so many. Oh, I think there used to be a Shickley Irrigators. There was one, a bunch of them over around Exeter. You know, they all had these little, yeah, groups and they were going to solve the irrigation problems and stuff, you know, but. So does anybody else, John, go ahead. Oh. oh, okay. Who's the second? Me. Uh, okay. Oh. Oh, okay. We have a motion to adjourn. All those in favor, say aye. Aye. Uh, opposed? Uh, motion carried. Unanimous. Sorry. Thank you, Bill. Bill.